how much do you think people genuinely felt that black people were just not fully human versus how many just rationalized it that way? What is your what is your sense of of how people experienced it? I think it's it was primarily religious determined back then. And the religious narratives around race, I think, were pretty clear cut. And those had been evolved over time to enslave black people and to Christians. Uh, what, what's that? I said Christians. Yeah, exactly. I think that those, I mean, it didn't start out like that, but I think that that you add religious narratives to your religious narratives over time and it becomes okay mm-hmm. and it becomes Gospel sanctioned, literally. Gospel. It becomes becomes Gospel. sanctioned yeah. by God and that is yeah. your absolute reality if you're a religious person. I can mm-hmm. say this because I I grew up as a religious person. And yeah. so that reality is set in a lot of ways unless you break um, really powerful bonds with your community. So mm-hmm. that reality is communal enforced. Uh, it is set when you're very young, indoctrination. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I can say, I think that a lot of them were just completely blind because that was the indoctrination that they got. Now, that doesn't mean that there's not 10% of their brain that says this is kind of, this is uncomfortable. Um, but I don't think it was enough to break those communal bonds that they formed and, and that kept them uh, as part of the group, you know? So you got the authority of God and who's going to question the authority of God is taught, right? And then you have the communal bonds and what you'd be giving up to to be a naysayer to question and you think that those those forces kind of drive people's minds to just accept the reality that they're given is is what i'm hearing from you i think that that's the very the most basic human experience and for yeah. a lot of that's how our brains work right um yeah not everybody and i think that that was definitely in force back then yeah. I just I, and I struggle and I struggle and it's because of I know so much British royal history and Mara knows this because the crown is endowed by the authority of God. You'll see that on May the sixth when the current king is invested in his role. So if the authority of God is setting this order of the races, the authority of God doesn't apply to set the order of the caste such that you would want to break from your king, King George the Third. Yeah, I think that that was a pretty radical idea back then. That was a radical, one radical idea that, uh, but they did not take on other radical ideas at the same time. I accept that. That's Mm -hmm. a great way to respond to me. I accept that. You know, I don't know enough about the kind of on the ground realities, you know, on the plantation, right? Um, And the interaction between slaves and slave owners. But, you know, I shared something with Andre the other day so we, so my my wife and I are fostering, and it's it's hard because I know that I'm just seeing through the lens of how I grew up and who I am now looking back. So I will totally own the fact that I can't truly get in the mind of someone like you're talking about Landon, right? Right. That I have the ability to be where I am in history, right? Um, at the same time, so we're fostering. It just so happens that. The, the child who got placed with us, I will try to get through this, is, uh, is, is black. Okay, so we have a, a black foster daughter. Um, we didn't ask for it. The, if you believe in the heavens above or whatever you I may do. Believe. I do, and that was God. <laughs> um, and it's so hard for me to, to fathom that you could look at a at a black child in particular and not just think they're just a child right I mean, we raised our daughter who's you know half you know quarter you know part latino part jewish white whatever right um i know what i saw of, of a child who is white right um and there's just obviously they got their unique personalities but they're joyful filled with love they challenge you. They're smart. You know, they're just they're just children. You know, I have the same feeling with that. I think anybody has when they come into the presence of a child, which is just just a child, right? It's a human being. 
To watch the rest of that episode, go ahead and click the video below me. To see a different compelling Healing Race episode, you can click the video below me. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.